So to prepare your barbecue for indirect cooking, a couple of simple steps. We open the grill in the base of the barbecue so the vents are completely open. On your base grill, we have these little dividers on either side. So through the middle of those dividers, we're going to put some foil, which acts as a drip tray through the center. Then the coals are going to go on either side of the drip tray. So we've got our barbecue ready for indirect cooking. We've got coals on either side, as you can see, they're nice and gray and glowing, so they're nice and hot. In the center there, we've got our foil, which is our drip tray. So then on top of that goes our grill. So that goes over. Okay, now with some grills, you do see these little vents on either side, and that's just to top up your coals if it's cooling down, so they're quite good. But what we're now looking to do is put our food over the drip tray, not over the coals. So there we have a nice little pork joint here, and then on goes our lid. Now then, quite a key thing is we make sure that our vent is open full at the bottom, and our vent on the top is open as well and it has to be over the food. Because if we went on this side, we'd get heat all over those coals on that side, so we wouldn't have even heat in the barbecue. And the same again on this side. So we have to make sure that the vents are over the food. Now this is how I control my heat. If I turn it right down, I can get it to about 120 degrees centigrade. If I open it up to about a medium heat, we can get up to about 180 degrees centigrade. If we open it up full, we can get up to about 250, sometimes up to 300, depending on how many coals are in there. And that is how you get indirect heat and how you can roast over a barbecue.